Hey guys, welcome to Cara's Cucina. I'm Cara DeFalco, and this week we are celebrating fall by making pumpkin waffles. Great food isn't just about good ingredients and knowing how to cook, it's about telling the story of the food. To start our waffles, I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, and to that, we are going to be adding in two teaspoons of baking powder, I'm also going to add in a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And you can either use pumpkin pie mix. I prefer to make my own of the spice. So this is going to be a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon of cinnamon because you can never have too much cinnamon. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg and then a quarter teaspoon each of ground ginger and ground cloves. We're going to have these delicious fall flavored waffles. And I've got two tablespoons of dark brown sugar as well. We're going to get this all mixed up. We also need a bit of salt about a teaspoon of salt, so a good pinch or two. Now we're gonna combine our wet ingredients. I have one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree, and to that we are gonna add in one cup of milk. I use almond milk, and again, that's just because that's the milk I use in my house. Um, you can use whatever kind of milk you normally use in your house. Regular milk will work, coconut milk will work. We're also going to add in a quarter cup of maple syrup, so again, another great fall flavor. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. two eggs, and four tablespoons of melted butter. And I melted this and then I kind of let it hang out a little bit just so it's not too hot and it won't cook my eggs. And we'll get this all mixed together as well. Carefully at first. Finally, we are going to mix our wet ingredients into our dry so that we have a nice batter. Now I have my waffle iron preheating and I am going to just give this a little bit of grease with a cooking spray. And then we're gonna add our batter in about a third of a cup at a time. And then you just wanna cook these to whatever your waffle iron's instructions are. So mine has a light, if yours makes a noise, whatever it is. Serve your waffles warm with butter and syrup and whatever else you like for the perfect fall breakfast. Hey guys, if you like this recipe, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below and don't forget you can follow everything that's going on in the Cucina on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Cara DeFalco. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy fall.